Hi there, this is Vic Veer again, following up from the previous video about me inserting a grommet. This time I'll go through the video again and pick out the minor technical errors I found. Obviously no harm came to the patient, but I think explaining what can be improved would help junior doctors improve their own technique. So firstly, as you can see, as I advance the Moringa tome, the angle of the knife is a few degrees off the parallel line seen by the capillaries within the eardrum. If I had kept my Moringa tome exactly parallel to the capillaries, and also made sure that the incision occurred directly between these capillaries, it would have led to less bleeding. On the other hand, most surgeons don't seem to bother getting between these capillaries and it doesn't seem to affect patients at all, but I think you should always try and strive for perfection as a surgeon. And at this point, I use the Moringa tome twice, which in hindsight isn't really required. I think I should have kept the smaller incision, which would have made the grommet sit more snugly. I think this is better because any bleeding that may be present would have been compressed by the tight fit. Also, there's less of a chance of the grommet coming out too early or getting infected. On saying this, however, I see lots of people making very large holes in the eardrum, and so again, I don't think this makes a difference to the patient at all. This last one may have been quite difficult for some people to see, but you will notice me accidentally grazing the skin with the crocodile forceps at the bottom of the ear canal. I've slowed this down for you so you can see it happening. Obviously, again, this did not make a bleed or any other problems, but again, I think it's worth keeping in mind. If you look at other people's videos like this one, you'll see surgeons causing bleeding of the ear canal. Personally, I think you really ought to practice not touching the ear canal at all in your operations. Again, this is not a major problem and giving patients antibiotic drops after the operation will avoid the infection that might occur and also stop the blood from clotting up and blocking the grommet. What I really want to get across from these two videos is that although grommets are considered very easy to insert, if you really scrutinize your performance, you'll see tiny errors which may not affect the outcome in any way, but I think are important to realize. The more you think about this, the better your outcomes will be and the better surgeon you will be. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please like and subscribe.